hello and welcome to another video tutorial with skin tech coding clinic once again and in this video i'm going to show you step by step how you can send bulk sms in ms excel using push bullet api okay we all know sending bulk sms has never been easy most especially if you have a very large contact database it's very stressful but we have done that we've made that easy for you using the push bullet api and one good thing about the push bullet api is in such a way that you're going to use your own phone number as well as your own credit so supposing you have sms credit you can go ahead and send your bulk sms right using your phone number and then accessing your own call credit or sms credit straight from your phone now let's launch this application and see how it works so let me play launch it from here so once you get this launched and this quickly the interface is here so what you're going to do is to click on setup sms and then you would have to enter your access token and then the device id okay so basically these two things i'll be walking you through step by step how you can set up your account with push bullet api and get your access token and device id so that you can send sms right inside this templates using your own sms credit or your own core credit right from your phone with your own phone number okay it's going to be very simple straightforward and fun i'll be leaving the link for the um, template in the video description you can just download it absolutely for free what we want from you is just to smash that like button also subscribe to the channel so that i can get notified anytime we upload new video tutorials like this now let's quickly delve right into that so quickly first thing you would want to do is to add your contact data so you can click this button and then you do that so for now we don't have anything so this is the first person let me assume the name is baba yakub okay and then the gender is male let me go for it. then the phone number there we go so what i'm going to do is to click on add and save and then we have that so let me add the next person let's see there we go and then the gender is probably female so let me click on this and then the phone number um, perfect so there we go so once i'm gonna just go ahead and click on add and save if you want to search for a record you can search using the phone number so let me just search for the first person so once i click on search i should be able to return the details so i can go ahead and change whatever i want and just click on this update button and i'll have the record updated once i'm done checking i can go ahead and delete as well i can reset my form i can exit the form from here as well you can see perfect so basically that is that so once i'm done setting up my adding my contact you can add as many contacts as you wish and you can go ahead and send message to all of them with just a click of a button so the next thing we're going to do is to compose our message so you just click on this so when typing your message just go ahead and type the message without adding anything like hi or hello because we have taken care of that permanently so what i'm going to say is sorry there will be a meeting tomorrow at the assembly hall uh, at exactly sorry exactly 2 p.m. Try, sorry. Try. Sorry. Try to to be there on time. Perfect. Full stop. So once I'm done, what I'm going to do is just go ahead and click on compose. Now you watch this. Once I click on compose, this is what's going to happen. You can see that the message has just been shared to the contact i've just added so no matter the number of contact you have here the message is going to be sent to all of them without any issue without any problems without any stress it's going to be shared among them okay just like with just a click of a button so now once we are done what are we going to do the next thing is for us to go ahead and send our message so what we're going to do is to go ahead and click on send message so now let's watch there we go so you can see the message saying sms sent successfully without any problem without any stress so now let me just show you the sms i received on the phone so you can just check as you can see that is what you are seeing at the top right corner here so basically that is the sms okay i've just received it right on my phone so basically that is that so you can send sms to as many contact as you wish so you can easily go ahead and then click on this to clear your database so you see it says what are you sure you want to clear contacts 
and SMS data if you say no nothing happens but once you go ahead and click on yes then you have that cleared but now the question is how do we set up our account with push bullet and get our access token and device id now let's quickly delve right into that and so just launch a browser and then inside the browser you just type push okay just type push bullet so you can see it should pop up okay push bullet so that is that so you just press enter and then let's choose the first link from here so with this it should launch for us okay um let's see this so once you get this from just try refreshing the page and then uh, we should get the website up and running perfect so there we go so here the next thing we're going to do is to sign up with your google so just click on this and then you should be able to sign up with your google so i'm going to use this my email address so i'm going to click on it and then i'm just signing up from here so perfect so once you sign in from here the next thing we are going to do is just, i just use my email address to sign in from here so the next thing we are going to do is to um uh, set up um this on our phone first because we are going to send sms using our phone number so we're going to do is to click setup on phone so you go ahead and click on android and then this will open this for us and then you click on install okay personally i already, I already have it installed my phone and i don't want to um so far doing that once again so once you click on install you'll be prompted on your android to do some few configurations or if you like or if you wish you can just go to your play store and just go to search and type push bullets and then you should be able to see it and then install but the best practice is to make just make sure you you click on install from here so this will be prompted you can see that um it's prompting me to install it on a different device this is this is, this is not my phone though this is a different device so what is going to happen here is this okay i uh, can see this my phone here so when i just click on this what is going to happen is that i'll just click on install so let's see what's going to happen so it's asking me to verify so i'll receive some prompt on my phone so i'll click on next then i would have to enter to confirm my email address okay so sorry yeah my the password So once i'm done i just click on next just to confirm that so you make sure you type the password of your email address so it's now being installed on the phone so with all this process what is happening is that it's now being installed on the phone so say what uh, purchase and purchases an app installed through yes so i'll just click on that and just click on save and you click on ok so with this we can go ahead and then have it installed on our phone so let me just confirm from here so perfect so we are done with that process so now just switch to our phone let me switch to my phone and then show you what is happening there now all right so here i am on my phone so now you should have it installed on your phone so you can see i have it here push bullet i'll just tap on it and then from here i'm being asked to sign in with google so i'm going to use the same email address i used to sign up on my pc to do that so i just click on sign in and then from the list of my email address i'm going to choose that same email address and just click on ok so let's see what's going to happen from here so i'll just click on enable just make sure you enable all what is prompted to do so we need to allow notification access so let's see how that opens for us so what we are going to do is just to come to push bullets if this this um, button is turned off you just have to make sure you turn it on like this okay so once you are done you can see my is already on meaning it's allowing not no, a notification from push bullet so once i'm done i'll just go back and then i'll just click on enable okay i've already done that and then accept to synchronize then click on done so once we are done everything is now set up and up and running from here so now we can then go back to our pc well, now here we are on our on the, on the website now so we click on devices and then from here you just go ahead and click on your phone okay so once you click on your phone you can see that everything is your phone is now connected to the website and then sms can now flow but the next line of action is this we need to um set it up on our pc as well so how do we do that you go to setup from here then we go to um setup on computer then you fire this button here and then this will download the you can see that it's down you can from the top here it has just downloaded the push bullet um what's the name um executable file that is the software okay so what we're going to do is this we're going to go to our downloads folder and then have it installed on a pc so i'm going to click from here 
and I'll just open this. I already have it installed, so you can see that this one says it's one. So I just double click, fire this button, and I'll click on run on this, click on yes. And I'll just click on next. I would want to replace it, okay, because there is a folder already exists. I've already used it, okay. So I would want to create the desktop icon. Yes, and then there we go. So you just click on launch, and then we should be able to launch the application. It's taking slow to launch. So now, don't worry, even if it is not launched, because we're going to use it that much. What we need is our access token and then <clears throat> device ID. So what we are going to do now is to go to devices. Or we can, what we are going to do is to click on create access token. You can see that create access token. You click on that. So once you click on that, this will be created for you. So you just copy this, okay? When you copy this, just copy this. Control C after selecting it. Press Control C on the keyboard to copy it. Let me just create a notepad file from here. Just call it notepad. Now our push bullet has been launched. You can see it from here. So before we continue, let's click on sign in with Google. So let's do that. This is the app that's finally launched. It's taking slow to we can still minimize it. We don't okay. Let's see how it goes. Then we go ahead and use another account because the account we're going to use is not here. Then we click on this to use another account. So I'm going to use a different email address. So I'm just going to go for this. Okay, so this is the email address I'm going to use. I'll click on next. And then the email address should be the same throughout. Please don't get it wrong here. So once I enter my password, I'll just click on next. And then I should have this also figured out. Okay. Sign in. So there we go. It's also been signed in without any problem, without any stretch. So there we go. So from here, we can close this one as well. We are done with that. So now we are going to go ahead and copy this one. It's now done. You can see it's also set up. Okay. So now we can minimize this. Now, after selecting this um, access token, control C to copy it. Okay. So let's come to the search bar here and just type notepad. <clears throat> Sorry, notepad. Let's launch it from here. Then control V to paste it. Okay, so sorry, sorry, let me just paste this. So, I'll just name it at the top so that I don't get confused. So let me just name it from here. Let me call this access token. Sorry, access token. Then let me go to file. Uh, okay, because I haven't saved the file. Okay, so let me give this one device ID. And then this one we pasted here. So now for sorry, <laughs> let's forget about this. For the device ID, let's minimize this for now. <clears throat> now for the device ID, we click on um, devices, then you select your smartphone. Okay, this is my smartphone. I'll select it, and then in the address bar here, click inside here and copy this address up to where the forward slash end. Don't include the forward slash. So we start with U, small U, J, W, something, something up to the end. So Control C to copy this. So once you are done. Come back to the notepad and paste this as well. Now, this is what we want. Forget about this. I'm try just trying to save the file. So now, immediately you are done setting up your account with push bullet and generating your access token and device ID. You should be able to see something like this. Okay. So the first one here is your access token. And then the second one here is your device ID. So what you're going to do is to click on setup SMS. Just hit this button here. Now what you're going to do is go ahead and copy your access token. You just copy this. So you just control C to copy this. You go ahead and paste it inside here. Then you come for a device ID as well. Just copy that as well. And then quickly you paste it here as well. So you just go ahead and click on submit. You can see the prompt says what I've already set up SMS. And I can go ahead and start sending messages. Because I've already set up account using the same credentials that's the same access token and device id so that is a prompt i received but you are going to do it for the first time so what's going to happen is i'm going to go ahead and then set up your details and then you'll be able to start sending sms without any problems without any stress so basically that is how this powerful template works so you can go ahead and add as many contacts as you wish and go ahead and send POC sms right in front of your PC okay just using this template and then having your credit using your own SMS credit right from your phone or your normal phone credit you can go ahead and use that and send SMS so once you are then go ahead and click your database when you say no nothing happens but I click on this and you say yes and then you have your database cleared meaning everything is now set and ready to take another details 
so that is that for this lesson please like i said you can check the link in the video description go ahead and download the template absolutely for free what we want from you is just to subscribe to the channel you press the bell icon so i can get notified anytime you upload new video tutorials don't forget to also smash the like button thank you and see you in the next video bye